In this video, we're going to learn how to use 3DPP Pipe Designer to get your spool data from SpoolCAD software and prepare it to be sent to your new cutting machine. The first step is to import the data from SpoolCAD, and I do that with my Import SpoolCAD button. And I have a file here I'd like to import, and I'll click the Open button. And we have some data here that we keep track of for you, including customer, job, bevel, and a root weld gap if you'd like one. And we have some include types. And I'm going to exclude for now elbows, bends, and tees, since I'm only interested in pipes and things that create holes in pipes like OLEDs. And then I'll click the OK button. Now that it's been successfully imported, we see a 3D view of our whole design. I can zoom in and out with the wheel on my mouse. I'll do that now. I can click on individual parts, for instance this one, and then I see some data about that part, including its length and outer diameter. I see that it has two miters and two holes. Once I'm satisfied that everything is good, I can click this Add to Parts button. I'll do that now. And now the data is available for me to nest. Uh, one thing I would like to do is filter the data a little bit since I have many different diameters. First thing I'll do is sort by diameter by clicking on the diameter header. And then I'll zoom up here. I have some three and a half inch parts. Maybe I'd like to nest those. So I'll click on one and then shift click on a few more. And now all of these are selected and I'll go ahead and nest those. So I just click this nest parts button. And then I click on this other nest parts button. And then the parts are being nested. And I can go over to my pipes tab to see the result of my nesting. And here is the pipe that was nested. And once I'm satisfied with that, I can click on this green arrow. And finally, all I have to do is select which kind of machine to send my spool to. 